It's a well-established fact that ethical leaders are more successful. How does one become an ethical leader? Practice. Just like you practice fire drills or reacting to emergencies, you need to practice your ethics reflection and deliberation. Dr. Pauline shanks Corinne is the Stockdale Chair. She argues that leaders ought to question, argue, discuss, and reflect in order to be ready to make decisions when called upon. It's incumbent upon members of the profession of arms to carry out their moral obligations by having a decision-making process that includes ethics in the process of making decisions. You'll not only be ready to be tested, but you'll also have language to use in your organization that they understand. Lead well this week.